Welcome back Vipers, I'm Paulo and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new RTA by AugVape that's called the Boreas which that's the boxing of it um, Boreas in Greek means God of the North Winds just to give you guys a heads up, I know you guys don't really care about that but we just want to see how the tank works, right? The RTA so let's not waste much more time, let's get down on personal, let's check it out up close I'm also going to show you guys the updated version of the Alaria RTA. If you guys saw my review on this, I'm just going to show you that they did the changes that I asked for on the last review. So if you guys want to check out how it comes for you guys, you know, get down close and I'll show it to you. Okay, so see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so here we are close and personal with the Boreas and the Alaria RTA. The Alaria RTA, I already reviewed it. Um, as most of you I guess know if you didn't see this review please go back and watch it the only thing I'm going to say about the Alaria is that um, if you guys saw the review I, I um, suggested some changes on this tank or this RTA and going back and forth with them and talking and discussing with them they did the changes so just minor changes it's a 23 millimeter tank this tank is awesome guys, I, I, I'm telling you, try it. It's, it's really, 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 really nice to work with. The change that they made on it was a drip tip. It was only made in stainless steel. Now you have the stainless steel on the inside and they put some Delrin on the outside so it won't burn your lips. So yeah, they did what I asked for. You can use your standard uh, 510 drip tip. The only thing is you have to adjust your juice flow first and then you can put your own um, drip tip on it, okay? It had these knurlings on it so you can adjust the airflow you see the cuts in there so you adjust it there i have to get it in the right place like that and to control your air your juice flow all you have to do is keep spinning your drip tip and it'll open or close your glass chimney inside here um, i showed this before like i said on the first review i did on it but if you guys can see the glass goes up and it goes down so there's your channels for your juice and it'll either close down the glass or open up the glass to get more juice control okay if you do it clockwise it closes down your chimney you can see it go down and I'm turning it this way or you can do counterclockwise and it'll open okay the other difference or the changes that they made on it was the first thing that I mentioned that I wish they would do when they did it so you have a velocity style uh, building deck okay so now you have two holes on each post hole to make your easier builds everything else is exactly the same okay so yeah if you guys want to know more about this watch the, the full review I have on it so let's go with the Boreas this is a 25 millimeter uh, RTA which is pretty awesome guys so yeah it's made by AugVape Here you have some info if you guys want to read about it. It comes with two decks, which I'll show you that up close, but if you guys want to read that. Here's your scratch and check for authenticity. And yeah, you got Boreas on the side here, all vape, and that's it. So we open it up. Here's your extra deck that I'll get into in a second. And here's your RD, RTA. 25 millimeter. I'm number 414, there's your serial number. You got a Delrin drip tip with stainless steel on the inside also. So I guess now they're gonna start doing them like this. It's better so you don't get your lips burned. It's a standard 510 uh, connection. You can use any drip tip you want on top of it. And here you have your copper contact pin. It protrudes a little. Okay, it's all made of three or four grades, uh, food grade stainless steel. You have your Pyrex glass tank. It holds eight mils of juice, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, eight mils of juice. And yeah, to open it up, if you wanna, uh, it's top fill. All you do is unscrew it here for the top, hold your glass and just unscrew. And you have really, really big juice holes here. Okay, to fill it up, I would close off your airflow, which like so, I'll get to that in a minute. 
really really nice threading on this one also guys like all Ogvay products I mean quality is A plus and I'm gonna continue saying that ever since the RDA that I tried from them to the um, Alaria to this one I mean it's it's A plus quality guys I gotta say it with an affordable price if you guys probably buy one of these high quality tanks you're probably looking at 70 80 90 dollars for it and I bet you this is gonna be around 30 dollars I don't know the price yet, but it must be around $30. It's like the Alaria or the R RDAs. But yeah, to control the airflow, it's really easy. Um, I'll start, it's closed, but okay, so I'll open up one hole. You turn it once, open up one hole, open up one hole on the other. Two holes, one in the other. Three holes, just like so three and three or fully open and it locks into place it won't go anymore so four and four that's how it works okay really really easy locks into place it's smooth it's really smooth it's not too loose and it's not too tight really really smooth okay so that's how the airflow works you got this ring on the outside so let's open it up here through the bottom first you take off this thread in here which is really nice also and you have an o-ring here to seal it down okay and that's gonna hold down your deck so all you do is pull out your deck okay and it has like these knurlings here on the side I don't know if you guys can see that right here so it'll lock into place here you see that there right there okay so you line it up with that part there and it seals in okay see that guys uh, if I'm not mistaken this is the two millimeter juice control deck you can see the holes there at the bottom your juice is gonna come in there through the bottom you have your velocity style style building deck two holes on each post you have your positive contact and your negative contact the negative contact is welded into the deck you can see your peak insulator there at the bottom on your positive post. This is the 2.5 millimeter deck. It's exactly the same. You just have those holes there at the bottom. It's four holes to juice up your cotton. They're bigger. This is for um, higher VG rated juices or for higher wattage. Could be over 80 watts. That's what they recommend with this deck. Under 80 watts. And your standard uh, juices like say 60, 70 VG, you can use the two, two millimeter deck. See the holes there at the bottom? These are smaller, these are bigger. I want to show you guys is the other side. You see, here's the juice. That's where the juice goes in, right here. And you can see that these are bigger. I hope you guys can see this. Focus camera yeah but you can see these are a lot smaller than these okay so that's where your juice goes in which is through this side here it's gonna come down okay like come down from inside the tank from here and then go in to these holes here and come out through this side and right there on the inside is your air control see the four holes it's the same thing that's on the outside okay and to pull this out you just unscrew it really simple stuff guys really easy to clean the glass comes out this is your glass okay here's the top of your chimney this is where you're gonna drip in your juice right from the top okay so yeah that's your top chimney this is where you fill it up from that's where it comes out goes into your tank like so okay so you guys can see it all yeah so here's the outer side of the base just pull this down if you guys want to pull it out like so okay so you can get your ring out then it has like these two little posts to lock it in so depending on how you open up your airflow the more you open up the airflow, the more you open up the juice holes because you can close them off here also. So when we close off the airflow, like so, it's going to close off your juice flow also. Okay, 
So I would recommend closing them off to fill up your tank every time you do that so you won't get any flooding on it. But yeah, if you guys want to see that, I think I pretty much explained it. Inside the package, besides your um, extra deck, you also get another extra Pyrex glass tank, exactly the same as the one that already comes with the RTA. And you get some extra O-rings, and you get your Allen key, and you get a user manual. Okay. I want to read that. When you're real, when you're building on top of a mod, make sure your mod is turned off, guys. Okay, because you can accidentally just press the fire button, and it's not really good. So make sure your mod is off if you want to build on top of a mod. I'm going to be building on the 2.5 millimeter juice holes because I'm going to use high VG, and I want to vape at higher wattages. We're going to put on here a Clapton coil build. Another thing I want to show you guys before we get started that I would change on this is your hexes screws that uses your Allen key. They're really small, the heads are really small on it. Like, this is your Allen key that it comes with, and this is your standard um, Allen key, which is for RDAs, and just, I think you guys can see it. Look at the difference of the thickness of this one with this one. So, I'm pretty positive this is gonna strip really fast. You guys can see the difference of the thickness of it, right? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive I'm gonna strip these heads really fast. So the coils we're going to be using today is by Yud. They're pre-built uh, Clapton coils and they measure off at 26 gauge uh, times 32 gauge. And they should come out to a 0.6 ohm. Since we're using dual coils, it should come out to a 0.3 ohm build. So yeah, by Yud. They're already made, really easy to work with. They have five wraps, a 2.5 millimeter uh, diameter. So yeah, let's be building with these coils today. So really easy to do. You can see here, like, one of your leads, focus, one of your leads come out through the top and one of your leads come out through the bottom, right? So all you're going to have to do is put the one that's the top lead, put it on the, on the top hole of your post, and then the bottom one, put it on the bottom lead, on the bottom hole of your post. You guys can see it now. See the top lead goes on the top hole and the bottom lead from the coil goes on the bottom. Okay? Just push them in and tighten them up. And I'll just do the same thing to the other side. Just cut your leads here. Make sure to hold your leads, guys, okay? Because if you don't hold it and if they fall on the floor, um, your foot, if you step on this, it's going to stab you. So always hold your leads before you cut them, okay? So I got one, and I'm cutting off the other one, and that's it. Now all I have to do is put in the other quill. easy right because they're already made this is worth buying from you so this is how both builds look I'm using my Arctic Dolphin 210 watt device I have a review on this one too if you guys want to see it's a nice mod it's a really nice mod it's been working great and so far here it's reading at 0.3 ohms exactly they say they're 0.6 ohm coils you do a dual cuts it in half so and it's exactly 0.3 ohms right there. So let's fire it up, see if it's, it's um, firing up exactly the same. Clapton coils take a little bit longer to heat up. Tweak them a little. Yeah, 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's get some cotton in here. I'm gonna be using some cotton bacon. I like cotton bacon. Just roll up the tip a little. And get it through. And as you're getting it in, spin your cotton, like so. I usually go all the way to the end. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Cut this side, then I'll trim it down to how I want it. And get some in on the other side. Okay, I'll leave that one like that and just cut off the tip and that's it. Okay, now this side looks pretty big. I'm gonna cut it like that. I don't I don't like too much cotton because sometimes too sometimes less is better and I'm gonna go with that theory. Sometimes less is better. Um, as long as it touches the deck and covers all the uh, the juice holes at the bottom, it's it's okay. Well, it doesn't really have to cover the juice holes because the juice is gonna come out of it and then go through the top, right? So just just make sure the cotton can reach the bottom. Just like you're building an RDA. I like these tweezers better to get the cotton in. Guys, another thing, make sure when you build your coils, make sure that the coil isn't coming out of your deck because you don't want it hit it, you don't want it hitting the outer, the outer part of um, your RTA, okay? So make sure you don't build outside the deck. Always inside the deck. Don't forget that. Okay, so that's how my build looks. It's not too shabby. Could be better, but it's good for me. Okay, not too much cotton. Just enough for it to get down at the bottom. So when the juice comes up, and especially the thick one, that it can um, it can saturate your cotton. Okay, guys. Because I think the if if you have too much cotton wrapped there at the bottom, it has to come up to your coil because the juice has to get up here. And if it if it has a long road to take to get up here, the longer it's gonna take to, to wick and you'll probably get dry hits. So, you know, just enough cotton to get there at the bottom of the deck. I think this looks pretty good. Okay, so let me get some juice on here. Okay, so today we're gonna be vaping on some Jade Key by Steamworks. I have a review on this one also if you guys want to check it out. It's thick juice, but it tastes really good, really good stuff. So yeah, let's just get some juiced up cotton here just to help it wick faster and to make sure you don't burn your cotton right off the first hit. Just juice it up a little. This juice is really thick so it should work very nicely with it. Okay, and that's it. Now, let's take out your deck and let's look for the grooves here. And you can see them right here, the notches, and just line them up. go in nicely and it's in now screw on the bottom of your base like so I just washed all of this guys okay so you have to wash it it's not you don't see any machining oil but it smells like machine so you should rinse it out with water warm water then dry it up okay before your first use I think it's better and now we'll put our glass on top and the top of our chimney you can just screw it down like so okay make sure everything is tight close off your airflow make sure your airflow is closed before you fill up the tank and now let's fill her up. Yep, 
8 mils of juice, wow. That should last you a while, unless you build really low ohms coils, and you're vaping at like 100 watts is when you're going to waste a lot of juice. So, now you all you have to do is screw on a top cap. Put on your 510 standard drip tip. Open up your air hole or your airflow. I'm going to open up to the maximum and it's bubbling, which is a really good sign. Nice. It's bubbling. So it's juicing up the coil nicely. Give it about five minutes. And that's it guys, here you have it. The Boreas by AugVape. Let's go back up to FaceTime, let's vape on it, let's blow some clouds, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. See you guys in a second. Okay guys, so that was our close and personal with the Boreas RTI by AugVape. And what do I have to say about it? Let's go with the cons first. The only kind I can find on this RTA is the fact that I think the screws are really small. Well, at least the head of the screws, the hexa screws are really small. And I'm afraid with time, um, it's going to mess up the heads, probably. I don't know. We'll see with time. I've only had this since uh, Wednesday, I think. Or Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. Two or three days. And I've been vaping on it. Uh, the wicking that I showed you guys up close, I did two wickings on it. The one that I showed you guys is the best one I made so far. I have no leaking issues whatsoever. It wicks really, really nicely, really top notch. I mean, even if you hit, you, you, can, you can see that there's no sizzling. Let me take a hit off of it. This is at 85 watts, guys, or 80 watts, sorry. I mean, it's wicking nicely. I have no, no leaking issues. It's perfect. Um, I like the airflow, I have it wide open, and like I said, I'm at 80 watts, as you guys can see, but I'm going to bring it up to 100, let's see how it vapes at 100 watts. 100 watts, guys. I'm really happy with the construction of it, I think it's, it's class A, I said that already. Um, I really like their products. I mean, I haven't had any problems with any of their products, and it's an affordable price. That's what I think is amazing. I would give easily, easily $60 for this RTA. I mean, easily, hands down. And I think most of you, if you do get this RTA, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna agree with me, hands down. Compared to other RTAs that are out there, um, that are originals like they are, um, that cost you $80, $90, $100, you guys are going to see that. This thing is it's, it's awesome. I can't, I can't say anything else about it. So, yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. Let me take one more hit. 100 watts is pretty good. Let me bring it up to 120. Let's try it at 120. It works really nice. Didn't even get a burnt taste at 120. Let me take it right away. It's awesome, guys. If you guys like to work at high wattage with thick uh, VG production, I mean, you guys are going to love this, okay? So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe, you guys. Rock on Vape Hard. Viper Vapor PT is out. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you like the review. And hope to see you all in the next one, okay? The next one is going to be my um, DUI Sunday. Let's make some juice tomorrow, okay? Stay safe, you guys.